Arsenal have got some deals in the pipeline that could change everything. It could be the difference between Arsenal pushing City and finally lifting the Premier League trophy. And speaking of City, it looks like they're going to be re-signing one of their old players that I think could actually help them in this Premier League title race. I want to get your guys' opinions on it. Before we do get into it, though, very quickly, do me a favour, hit like on this video. So the very first subject I want to get into is a deal of an Arsenal player that we've been waiting, not to get rid of because it sounds rude, but we've been waiting for this transfer to happen. So hopefully Arsenal can make their own moves. Listen to what uh, David Ornstein's had to say on this player, okay? So it's an exclusive for Ornstein. Nottingham Forest working on the deal to sign Eddie and Ketia from Arsenal. £25 million, including add-ons. Opening bid rejected, but talks continue. Nottingham Forest's top striker target... Arsenal want 30 to 35 million. Palace is still retain interest, but there's no current club to club talks. What are your guys' opinions on that? Arsenal turning down 25 million pounds for Eddie and Ketia. Let me know if you think we should have accepted it. Or let me know if you think Arsenal are in their rights to say no, we want 30, 35 million pounds for this player. If I'm being honest, look, I think 30 will get you Eddie and Ketia. Arsenal have, have obviously charged a premium. Knowing that it's a Premier League team, every team in world football charges a premium when it comes to selling to a Premier League club. These Premier League clubs enjoy a higher revenue than all these other leagues. So they say to them, well, you want to buy our player, throw a few million on. And that's exactly what Arsenal are doing. We heard Arsenal turned down 27 million uh, from Marseille. Arsenal were hoping for 30. And it seems like Arsenal, and that was Euros, Arsenal want 30 million, 35 million for Eddie and Ketia. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on that. I think it's interesting. I think this deal will get done. And I think this is so important for Arsenal to take that next step. Because we're hearing Arsenal have to sell players to bring more players in. And Eddie and Ketia is a player that needs to be moved on. You know, we've had the discussion. Eddie and Ketia can be a good player, but he's not at the level for Arsenal. There's a lot of disrespect out there for Eddie and Ketia. I'm not one of them. I've always said I think Eddie's a good player. When he gets that move, I think he will have a lot of people saying, why didn't he get more of a chance? Eddie and Nketiah has my full respect. I think he's going to be a good player. He's just not at the level for Arsenal, and that's okay. I don't think there needs to be disrespect towards that. But like I said, if we do get rid of Eddie, we're hearing talks of Marino coming in. But the, the thing that we need to have happen is Arsenal going out there for a forward. You know, that would change everything. If we get rid of Eddie and we upgrade that position and bring in a stronger forward, whether it be centre forward or winger, we just need more options further forward. If you look at our bench sometimes... We might only have one or two options in them forward areas that you could feel comfortable in bringing them on. I've actually got a video coming up in the next couple of days talking about Arsenal's bench and Man City's bench. So make sure you look out for that because it's actually quite interesting when you start to deep dive into it. But yeah, Eddie, I hope it gets done soon. We've got 10 days left of this transfer window. That's plenty of time for Arsenal to then still bring in a new player. Like I said, I hope it is Marino. That deal is nearly done. We need to bring in another forward as well. If we're selling a forward, I would, feel, I would feel slightly uncomfortable knowing that we've sold a forward and we've not replaced him. Like, we get injuries in this squad. We can't be down to the bare bones. And we just need as many good players in those forward areas to, to strengthen that subs bench as much as possible. I think our defence is very strong now when you look at that subs bench. The midfield will be there with the addition of Mikel Marino, but we need that extra forward player. And there's more transfer news coming out as well. Listen to this one as well. So this was from David Ornstein as well. The guy's on fire. So Wolves make proposal to sign Aaron Ramsdale from Arsenal. Initial loan plus buy option. Wolves would cons uh, would cover majority of the 26-year-old goalkeeper's wages. Acceptance at Molyneux deal difficult due to finances involved. But talks with Arsenal continue. This deal scares me, if I'm being honest. Look, I'm now kind of okay with Aaron Ramsdale being sold. I think things in a different universe could have worked out slightly different for Aaron Ramsdale and he could actually be good enough to be Arsenal's first choice goalkeeper. But Mikel Arteta didn't see it that way. He obviously wanted David Rea and it seems like it was the right right decision. So many people still hold the opinion that they think Aaron Ramsdale is a better keeper. But I guess we just have to go with it now that Rea isn't the number one. Ramsdale will be sold. This loan with a buy option, let me know your thoughts on it. I wouldn't take it. I'm not getting rid of Aaron Ramsdale just because it's the only offer out there. Like, just because Wolves are the only club that will take him. Like, keep him at the club then. If we have to, keep him at the club for enough. Like, he's good enough to play Champions League football. He's good enough to be a Premier League top 
five or six goalkeeper. Like the the ability is there with Aaron Ramsdale. I don't get why not more clubs are coming in for him, to be honest. I remember there was points of one or two seasons ago, he was ranked as the most expensive goalkeeper in world football transfer market, had him as 75 million pound player. So his, his, his value has obviously dropped with the fact that he's not Arsenal's number one. That's expected. But I wouldn't be giving him a loan with an option. If you're taking him on loan, okay, I still it's still not ideal. But you've got to at least put a buy clause like mandatory in there. You can't be given a buy option. So you're basically going to give him to Wolves, who themselves have a good goalkeeper, by the way. Whether he, uh, he's going to be moved on, I'm not sure. But giving Aaron Ramsdale to Wolves for a season, just for them to say at the end of it, nah, do you know what? We're all right. We're going to stick with what we got. Like Then you've just wasted another year of Aaron Ramsdale's career. You've just drained another year off the Arsenal contract. So you've basically then lessened the amount of income you're able to bring in. This deal to me just doesn't make sense. Like Arsenal are not in that much of a rush to get rid of Aaron Ramsdale that they need to kick him out the door on a loan with an option. How many times do you see players go out with a loan loan with an option, don't play that well, and then they get sent back to their club and like, now nah, we've got an option. We don't want to make that option permanent because he wasn't good enough. And I think that, although I do think Aaron Ramsdale is good enough, like you need to still cover yourself. You can't just be giving away players and say, do you know what? Test, try it before you buy. If you don't like him in 30 days, you get your money back. Like, that's kind of the deal it would be for Aaron Ramsdale. And I don't think that's the kind of deal Arsenal need to do at this exact moment. If Wolves want him, fine, you can have him on a loan, but it's going to be an obligation. Because at the end of that year, you're going to pay the money. Otherwise, you're not going to have him. That's as easy as it needs to be. Hopefully, Wolves go for it. Like we, like Ornstein said, there's maybe some financial difficulties there that Wolves are dealing with. But anyone who wants Aaron Ramsdale, I think it's very simple. You either pay the full amount for him now 25 30 million or you can have him on a loan but you better pay it in full by the end of next season let me know your thoughts on that the next one is another arsenal goalkeeper that arsenal are interested in and this is fabrizio romano arsenal have already reached verbal agreement with spanish goalkeeper juan garcia on personal terms he's the pri he's the priority target for arsenal to replace aaron ramsdale if he leaves in the final 10 days espanol are aware of arsenal interest but no official bids yet it depends on ramsdale and again, this is just, you know, confirmation that there's definitely clubs interested in Aaron Ramsdale. And, you know, Arsenal have their guy, like their backup keeper, ready to go. I don't know about this keeper, if I'm being honest. If some of you guys watch La Liga way more than I do, let me know. I don't, you know, follow Espanyol as much as I follow Arsenal. So I don't know everything about this goalkeeper, if I'm being honest. If you do know what this goalkeeper like is like, let me know. If I had to guess, because it's very easy to try and understand what Mikel Arteta will be trying to identify for a certain position because we know the way he wants to play. I would imagine he's not the biggest goalkeeper in the world. I would imagine he's small, nimble, very confident with his feet. You know, that's very predictable of me, but I'm guessing that's what kind of player he is. I haven't gone and done the research on him yet because it's not... You know, the links aren't strong enough to the point where it's like, right, Aaron Ramsdale. As soon as Aaron Ramsdale goes, I'll go and do some research on this guy and let you know what I find. But I imagine that's the kind of goalkeeper he is. He'll be comfortable. He'll be OK sitting as a backup to David Rea. He will understand his role in this Arsenal team. Look, you're not coming in to be the, the big guy. You're not coming in to be number one. You're going to come in in this goalkeeper circle that we have. You're going to try and push each other. There's going to be a good bond there. And you might get some cup games. You might get some minutes. So just... You know, and, and if that's the, the thinking with this guy, then I understand it. As long as he's good enough for if the worst comes to the worst and David Ray gets injured and you need to use this guy full time, as long as he's good enough for that, if he is, let me know, then I'm okay with it. Like I said, it's going to be sad, sad to see Ramsdale go and all of that. But I think there's some hurdles that need to be overcome before this deal gets completed. Like, please don't do a loan with an option on Aaron Ramsdale. It doesn't make no sense to me whatsoever. Not only are you giving the player away on a try it before you buy... You're also draining another year off his contract. And that would make his pr price plummet even more than you're going to struggle to get, what, 15 million for him. And for a keeper of Aaron Ramsdale's ability, that would be a disaster, in my opinion. Look, the last thing I wanted to touch on is this City player that might be going back there. What does that mean for the Premier League title race? It's a very experienced player. Ilkay Gundogan, there's talks of, of Pep Guardiola saying, OK, if this guy's available, we'll have him back. Like Fabrizio Romano put, put, it, put out a tweet and said, Pep Guardiola has already authorised the return of Ilkay Gundogan to Man City should he choose that option. Like there's a few options out there for him, whether it be Saudi, Turkey and Premier League clubs. But Pep Guardiola putting it out there early. If, if Gundogan wants to come back, 
then I'm happy with it. Look, he's he's a year older or a couple of years older since he's left. He's, he's probably a 33-year-old player by now. I think Kudogan has ability. We know how much he damaged Arsenal's title chances a couple of seasons ago. Remember when he'd come on that run of form towards the end of the season, he was just banging goals in. What does this mean for the title race? I don't know. I think he strengthened City. Without watching him too much last season, I obviously watched the big games, but he does st still seem to me like he's had ability. He has ability. Is he as good as when he first played for Man City? No, because he's a year older, so he's not going to be at the level that he was, but he's still a good player to have in the dressing room. He's still going to help Man City strengthen their squad, and that's all the marginal gains is about. You need to strengthen like little errors. If you can gain 5% here, 5% there, 3% there, then you're going to be stronger. Like Arsenal were only two points behind Man City last season. So I'm sure Pep Guardiola looks at that and has seen the incremental gains that Arsenal are making to get closer to City. And I'm sure Pep's saying any advantage I can get or any little percentage here and there that I can get to strengthen my position in this Premier League title race, he will take. And Gundogan going there, I think does exactly that. I think it does strengthen City. There's talks of them signing a striker or another forward player as well. I hope that don't happen because the loss of Julian Alvarez has undoubtedly made them weaker. You know, if you've lost a player like that who played 53 games and scored 20 odd goals, you know, you're going to be weaker if you lost him and not brung someone else in. We've seen the young Brazilian guy that they've brought in. There's meant to be a lot of excitement, a lot of hype around this player, but he won't be at a level of a Julian Alvarez yet. So I'm hoping that will be a like for like swap, because if that is what Man City do, then Man City are weaker this season. Like they're not going to be as strong as they was last season. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what Man City do. I am, of course, focusing on what Arsenal does this season. That's all we can do as Arsenal fans. Just hope and pray that Arsenal do what they need to do in this transfer window. Can they get rid of Eddie and Ketty? Or should they sell him for 25, 30 million? Let me know your thoughts on it. Ramsdale to Wolves. What's your thoughts? Guas Garcia, if you know anything about this keeper, let me know. And what's your thoughts of Gunnigan going back to City? Thanks so much to everyone for watching and listening. Before you go, like I said, just do me a favor. It's free. Just hit like on this video. Just like it and subscribe. And I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.